This is a podcast from the London Accordion Orchestra. For more information, visit our website at www.londonao.co.uk. Hello, I'm Sam Cullen, Principal Bass Player for LAO. In this episode, I will be talking to composer Marco Galvani about the piece he has written for Accordion Orchestra, of which the orchestra is in rehearsal for, for our first concert in our 2022 series, which will be happening on Monday the 18th of April at the Sacred Heart Church in Wimbledon. We will be hosting a joint concert with the Swiss National Youth Accordion Orchestra, who I interviewed a number of players for, an episode linked to their residency in Susie when visiting Switzerland to hear their performance of Black Mountain in 2019. More on them later. Our guest on the episode is composer Marco Galvani. Thank you for joining us on the podcast. Marco's work stretches from choral works to opera, and this isn't the first time he's written for LAO. We met in 2018 at the Royal Academy of Music, when you had written the orchestra a piece as part of the postgraduate composition programme. Do you remember the workshops you had with Ian Watson on how to write for this particular ensemble? Yeah, so back in 2018, we had these fantastic sessions with LAO where we all went along as composers and heard all of this fantastic repertoire. And I was struck by how many instruments are actually in the ensemble and what the kind of mass sound of the accordion is. And showing up to the rehearsals, we didn't really have any sense of what kind of 40 accordions would sound like, but hearing some film music, hearing some classical music. It just works in lots of different ways. But the the kind of thing that I wanted to go for in my piece was um, these kind of mass blocks of sound and almost creating the effect of a kind of giant synthesizer, um, which the, the piece expresses. Here's a clip of Marco's piece, The Day Does Not Pass, recorded live at the Royal Academy of Music. That was a clip from The Day Does Not Pass, performed live by the London Accordion Orchestra in 2018. It does feel like a very different tone to the piece you have written for our next concert in Wimbledon. Can you tell us about your new Accordion Orchestra piece and how it came about? Yeah, I'd say the, the very different pieces um, altogether, I thought. For this piece, I, I wouldn't go with any percussion. I just wanted to focus mainly on the sound of the accordions, in particular the, the bass accordions, which are amplified I remember that, that being a, a fantastic element to the sound of the ensemble. Um, the Day Does Not Pass was mainly by, um, about a Pablo Neruda poem, which was about the sea and the bells. And I wanted the, the accordions to, to create the effect of the sea with the, the bell chimes kind of being kind of subsumed within their texture. Whereas Vermilion is much more of a kind of textural study so looking at lots of cross rhythms lots of patterns that are interlinking with some some quite tonal harmony underneath um but hopefully it should be very exciting it's um the result of a lot of kind of email exchanges between me and ian and um i i really wanted to emphasize to ian that i wanted to do something that really brings out the kind of the chordal um, quality of the accordion and how much um, sonority you can achieve with that number of instruments. So yeah, um, it came about from us kind of exchanging ideas and thinking back to the the piece from 2018 and thinking what what I could create in a in a new sense. You mentioned in the forward notes on the score that after seeing the work of Takayuki Yoshida, 
whose artworks are these miniature masterpieces that capture a singular colour or texture and have a consistency of form and tone. It's always interesting to hear where the composer starts with writing a piece. Could you elaborate further on that? So yeah, I came across Yoshida's work um, on the Saatchi uh, website, just looking through different artists, and I found the um, the kind of rigid formality of a lot of his work really inspired me. There's a lot of um, paint kind of brush strokes that are kind of overlaid with each other, so they, they create this interlinking texture and um, the the piece Vermilion comes from a, a series of paintings called Inside and Outside. Um, so I, I felt like those structures that Yoshida was was making are, are like windows into a kind of unknown space. Um, obviously that's that's something that comes across in in painters like Rothko. Uh, it's one of my kind of big inspirations. Um, and I felt the the circumstances of lockdown just really had it just resonated with that with that way of looking at things and inside and outside um and the the ideas of kind of boundaries between inner and outer for for all of us and um this piece is effectively my kind of meditation on that Could you talk us through the structure of Vermilion? So yeah, my, my piece fluctuates between two quite different types of material. We've got very meditative, chordal, almost chorale-like figures that are present throughout the piece. Um, and that's contrasted with very flowing, repetitive patterns that create complex polyrhythms and textures. Um, in the middle of the piece, the, the two different types of material kind of flow into one another before the parts um, come together for a homophonic kind of quite vertical um, chord progression finish, which is punctuated with some kind of nice moments of silence, which I think in a, in a church uh, setting should be really, really quite beautiful. Um, a kind of meditation on the, the sound of the collective voice all playing these, um, these quite rich and sonorous chords and I'm really excited to to hear that finally after <laughs> after all of this time. It's an incredible piece with ideas that are perhaps a new sound and vision for the accordion orchestra repertoire. Congratulations, I think it is breathtaking as well as thought provoking and so it makes sense when I hear the background of where it came from. That was a clip of Vermilion by Marco Galvani, rehearsed by the London Accordion Orchestra, in preparation for the premiere of the piece, which will happen at our concert on Monday the 18th of April at the Sacred Heart Church, Wimbledon, where we shall be joined by the Swiss National Youth Accordion Orchestra. 
Your new album, Invisible Cities, has been released with Sansara on the Resonance Classics label, and I quote from your website, The album showcases unaccompanied choral music throughout my seven-year collaboration with this choir, as well as four new electronic soundscapes that lead the listener on a journey through different musical spaces. I think that is accurately written, that the listener goes on a journey, because when I listen to your music, it feels to me that I'm stepping into the Marco Galvani sound world. Another piece that led me on a journey, as it were, is the music you have written for the Right to Grieve project, which had a huge impact on participants and listeners. There was reflection and stillness, and it was incredibly moving. When rehearsing Vermilion, I would say that sums up my playing experience, but also listening experience of the piece. Did you intend to write such an emotive piece? Thanks very much, Sam. I really appreciate that. Um, Yeah, I guess in a way it's quite an emotive piece. Um... Obviously, we've all kind of had challenges um, during this time, but I feel um, there was something about the idea of the the collective voice in the accordion orchestra that really appealed to me. And it, in a way, I, I think about it in a very similar way to to a choir. Um, it's almost like a kind of textless uh, vocalese in some parts, where you know you can do things that the voice would never be able to do um, because of the, the kind of key patterns of the instruments, but also some of the, the chord progressions at the end are quite similar to what I would do in, in choral music. And there is that sense of kind of breathing through phrases. And um, I really wanted to, to retain that and to almost highlight that as a, um, a key aspect of the accordion sound that we can kind of swell through these different passages. And um, in a way that that's very very similar to to the way I approach writing for the for the voice. You know, I never write things for the for the accordion that are kind of beyond what the, the you know the the length of breath of the human voice. So it's um it does have that very kind of human quality to it, and I'm really glad you've enjoyed rehearsing it. I think it's one of my main priorities as a as a composer is to find things that people enjoy playing people kind of enjoy listening to and it's it's a positive experience for for everyone so thanks thanks again on behalf of the orchestra thank you for joining me on the podcast that was composer marco galvani which the premiere of his new accordion orchestra piece vermilion will be performed at the concert on monday the 18th of april at the sacred heart church wimbledon where we shall be joined by the swiss national youth accordion orchestra for the concert their programme will include pieces by Johann Sebastian Bach, contemporary new music by Swiss composer Stefan Hudel, as well as Happy Band by the well-known accordion ensemble Motion Trio. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from us. You've been listening to the London Accordion Orchestra podcast. For more information, visit our website, www.londonao.co.uk.